I'm back and I'm showing you all of my pre-fall fat. Really tuck? Hey y'all, it's your girl, Kay, and I'm back. I'm showing you all of my pre-fall fashion finds. Tuck, you gotta go. It's like impossible to get any silence around here. The kids gone and they mowing the lawn outside. If they ain't mowing the lawn, the dog is snoring. Can you not? Anyway, let's try this again. I'm back. We here. <laughs> but I am sharing with you all of my pre-fall fashion finds. I'm your style bestie and I am here helping you master your confidence through fashion, style, and beauty. Okay? Hit subscribe. Share it in your group chat. Send it to your friends, don't be selfish. You're gonna wanna join this girl gang. And if you've already joined this girl gang, bring more girls to the gang, okay? <laughs> I personally start shopping the season ahead. Once I notice what's coming up, what I wanna keep in my wardrobe, what's new, how I wanna refine what I already have, I do a wardrobe audit, and then I decide like what's staying, what's gotta go and how I'm filling in the gaps. And then there's a little bit of um, impulsive shopping sprinkled in there, you know, scrolling in the middle of the night. But again, I never miss, I never miss. I know what I'm talking about. If I tell you get it, don't ask no questions. Don't wait till you see it on me cause it's gonna be gone. This one is all about pre-fall fashion finds. I wanna show you my purchases and I also wanna chat a little bit more about what people should start looking for. I want to talk about some things that are on trend. Like what's hot, what's sticking around, what you should get. All right, stick around. Some of my fall wardrobe must-haves. Let's start with that first. I personally love buying things that I can wear throughout the seasons. Summer is that one-off because it's just like ridiculously hot outside, so most things that you buy for the other seasons won't always translate into summer, but nine times out of 10, when I'm buying something, it's something that I can wear in the spring, the fall, and even in the winter with layers. The reason why I call these must-haves is because I've noticed through the seasons and through the years that these things remain staples in my wardrobe. You always need a really good white shirt. I'm gonna tell you that hands down, I'm gonna always say that, I've always been saying that. It doesn't matter the size, it doesn't matter your silhouette, you always need a really good crisp white shirt. You definitely need some good denim. And I'm not saying it has to be expensive, but it needs to be high quality. You want good denim that is a good wash, an updated wash, good fit as well. The fit, the rise, and the wash. Let's like update it a bit because it's nothing worse than seeing cheap jeans. If they were $20, let's make sure the wash is a little bit more up to date. Like them light skin, stretchy jeans, let them go. Let them go, child. Slam dunk them in the trash. Turn them into booty shorts. I don't care, but they don't belong in your wardrobe. Mm. I'm gonna let that one marinate because I know that might have been kind of a hard pill to swallow for some people. Okay, moving on. Also, trousers. I am definitely in my trouser era. For me, they gotta be high waist. I do like a wide leg trouser, but then I'm also loving a boot cut flare leg trouser because it gives me the illusion of a wider hip and I am very much lacking in the hip area. I will never tell you I'm ever lacking again, but I'm, I'm also honest with myself. I know I ain't got hips like that. I got booty though. <laughs> Moving on, body suits. I love a bodysuit because at this big age, I don't got time to keep tucking my shirt into my pants. I don't have time to keep worrying about is my shirt rising up, rolling up. No, I don't have time for that. Bodysuits can suck you in, smooth you out, and they give you a lot of bang for your buck. A satin skirt or dress, must have. And I'm gonna show you why later. You want a really great blazer. It depends on the fit that you like. A lot of people opt for a boyfriend blazer. I personally love a structured blazer. I love a little shoulder pad. <laughs> and I like my blazers to be double-breasted. These days, I'm actually on the hunt for a more hourglass shape. 
blazer. Jackets, 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 jackets. I absolutely hate coats, to be honest. I'm on the East Coast, I'm from DC, and I live in Maryland. Every time it gets pretty nippy outside, but I still don't love a big coat. So for the fall, you wanna get you some good leather jackets. I would say a suede jacket, definitely a good denim jacket. Um, I'm not a fan of faux suede. Some faux leather jackets or vegan leather jackets do look high quality, but just don't skimp in that area. She'll be 35 in less than a month. <laughs> I know, I don't look a day over 21. Oh, okay. But I'm in my comfortable, practical like stage of life, a loafer. A loafer is going to take you places. It's going to take you to church. It's going to take you to work. And it's going to take you to run those errands. Soccer moms, ditch the sneaker one day and just throw on a loafer with those leggings and watch it elevate your situation. Also love a mule or a simple heel because a mule is a little bit more comfortable for me. And it goes with jeans, trousers, and just about any bottoms that you have. In addition, a retro or casual sneaker. I know the girls love the pandas and the low dunks, but you want a pair of retro sneakers like a Samba, Stan Smith, Gazelle. Isabel Morant also has some really great casual sneakers. So does Tori Burch. So does Sam Edelman. I think I'm saying her name right. Jeronica on YouTube. She put me on to Sam Edelman sneakers. Also, they're gonna take you many places, so you can wear them to work as well. Cargo anything is in right now. Cargo anything, cargo skirt, cargo dress, cargo pants. I'm not saying Queen Bee did this, but she declared the Renaissance era. Therefore, everybody is in their Renaissance era. It doesn't matter high or low fashion, metallics are in. So here are some items that I purchased, and I've actually been sporadically shopping since maybe the end of July. A lot of things I've had to send back. So one of those things was I got the Adidas some, but I actually bought quite a few pairs of Adidas this summer, and they all were just like super big. But I bought the Adidas Sambas. I love them because if you notice on the Gap website, all of their models have on Adidas Sambas, and I just think they're so classic. They were way too big, so I had to sell them. I do plan to replace them in my correct size. But if you want them, you might want to go down a half a size. Um, I also got a pair of these Adidas Gazelles. They are stunning. They're giving me Gucci vibes. That gum sole, it just kind of gives it a little bit more of a like vintage or a retro look. These were like a, like a whole size too big. I bought my actual size and when I put them on, they were a whole size too big. These are not easy to find. I think it's a, I think it's a dub for me. I have to just sell them, get rid of them. Oh, I'm so annoyed by that. But I also got this mango leather jacket. That was actually the very first thing I bought because in the summertime, many retailers are doing big sales. And you wanna take advantage of those big sales to start shopping for the upcoming season. All the fashion girls know fall fashion is not cheap, baby. But I got this leather jacket for pennies. It's a moto jacket, which is my favorite style jacket. It's red. I think once you have a black or brown moto jacket, definitely go for a pop of color. I have a pink one. I have now I have this red one. I have black. I have brown. I love them and I, I have suede jackets in various colors too but I've gotten rid of them over the years because they're too big. The other thing that I picked up because I love satin everything and right now satin maxi skirts and satin maxi dresses are in. They are in. They actually have always been in and I don't know why people are not getting hip. I actually love styling a maxi slip dress with a moto leather jacket. It's so cute because both both items are on the opposite end of the spectrum. One is very edgy and the other is super feminine because you can wear a maxi um, satin dress or maxi satin skirt to a wedding. But I also can rock it with sneakers, boots, and a moto jacket. I say cargo anything. I have been on the hunt for the perfect cargo jeans. I wanted a silhouette that was more like that barrel leg 
that is a little reminiscent of the silhouette of the Attico cargo jeans. With keeping the Attico cargos in mind, they were a hit last year and many retailers knocked them off. Fashion Nova did. I bought them. I did. I bought them in two sizes. I bought them in three colors. I still haven't worn any of them, but I got the green ones because I think those resemble the Attico ones the most. And I just really love them. Again, they will be the standout piece. I don't have to do much to them. I can just wear a white tee. I can just wear a basic high neck bodysuit and that's it. They also look really great with any type of crop, a band tee, a leather jacket, which I plan to wear a, mo a moto jacket with it. More than likely an oversized moto jacket and maybe like a basic crop. Love a white, a white shirt. I love a crisp white shirt and I have had my eye on the Frankie Shop Beck padded shoulder white top for the longest and it always sells out, but I got it. Definitely going back for the black one. I wore it to the Renaissance concert. Splurge on a white shirt, I highly recommend. White shirts are my staple. They are my signature thing. Spending $180 on it was a no-brainer for me. And the shoulder pads and the silhouette, and you can cinch the waist, it, it's everything. It's everything, it's everything, it's everything. I also ordered this Amazon quilted mini bag. I am on the hunt for more bags, but I'm not the girl that feels like I have to always wear a designer bag. I've been there, done that in my 20s, okay? Sold them all, paid off debt got back in debt that's another story high quality bags that make a statement that are functional that are a conversation piece that will last me for years and i saw a creator with this amazon quilted tote it was giving me chanel vibes um and i got it it was out of stock i don't know when it's going to come back in stock i'm definitely going to link it but i got that bag and it ain't going to ship for another few weeks but I'll pop a photo of, of it here, it's so cute. Uh, and I love top handle bags these days, which is why I love my Brandon Blackwood bag that I got for Mother's Day. It's a top handle, it has the most gaudy, chunky chain. And I love me some gaudy, chunky gold chain situations. So that's not a new find, but it is definitely something that I am going to wear in the ground this fall. I feel like I'm talking so bad. Okay, <laughs> some other things that I picked up for fall. Sunglasses can honestly take the outfit to the next level. You don't gotta believe me, I said what I said. And usually, I know what I'm talking about. I always love a transparent lens. I know Lee was talking about this in one of her most recent fall fashion videos. Especially try a colored lens. I really should do a video on all my sunglasses because they truly make the outfit. Ugh, I love a good frame, honey. But one thing I'm actually kind of into these days is either a transparent lens, a colored lens, which is also transparent, or a blacked out frame. Like just a blacked out, you can't see me, you can't see my eyes, I barely can see out of them, that's how black they are. Mm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. It does something to me. Statement earrings. And Zara has a lot of statement earrings. Buy me Chanel on Instagram. She is like the queen of statement earrings, dangly earrings. I've always been a stud girl, but garnished in gold has gotten me into like these chunky little hoops here. I mean, I pretty much, I damn near sleep in these. But I love a little chunky hoop and now I'm in my statement earring bag. I just love them, especially like with the bob. And I'm gonna do a whole, I'm bringing back one of my old hairstyles that I just feel like the statement earring goes with. These are just small little touches, little details that can take the outfit to what? The next level. That was so corny. <laughs> I'm sure there will be a part two, part three, and part four of my pre-fall fashion finds, my fall fashion purchases, because your girl ain't done, okay? We're heading into September, and that's my birth month. I shall be slaying all month long. So stay tuned, make sure you subscribe. If you haven't seen my other videos, go ahead and watch those. I do upload every single week, 
And yeah, stick around, hit subscribe, like it, thumbs up, comment, share it with a friend, put it in your group chat. I do all the things. <laughs>